Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the different types of connective tissue. I gave you some examples of connective tissue. But now we will talk about the types of connective tissue. So let us look at the different types of connective tissue. Blood, support tissue, dense connective tissue and loose connective tissue. So blood is a special type of connective tissue and that is why it is kept separate. So blood, bone and cartilage, they are all different types of connective tissue. So we can say that they are different types of connective tissue or specialized connective tissue. Some people call them. Some people call these two as specialized connective tissue. Then dense connective tissue where again we have two types like ligament and tendon. Loose connective tissue, we have areolar tissue and adipose tissue. So now we will start discussing about each of these tissue types in detail one by one. So we will start with blood. What is blood? It is a fluid connective tissue. I don't really need to introduce blood. You all know what is blood. The red colored fluid which starts coming out of our body whenever we are injured. Right? Okay. So it basically has 78% water and 22% solids. So because of this high content of water, it is fluid in nature. It connects different systems of the body by transporting gases, digested food, hormones and waste materials to different body parts. So you understand why blood is a connective tissue because it is trying to connect different parts of the body. For example, during digestion, the food is absorbed by the intestine, but that food is needed by all other cells of the body. So who will carry it to different parts of the body? Blood. Okay, waste materials. Waste materials is produced in each and every cell of the body. Now you have to connect all, you have to collect all of them and then get them to your kidneys. That is the excretory system so that it can throw it out of the body. But who will collect it from different parts of the body and get it to the kidneys? No one but blood. Transportation of hormones. Just now we were talking about hormones, right? That is also done by blood. So blood is basically connecting different body parts and that is why it is known as, it, it falls under the category of connective tissue. Right? Okay. Now, we will look at the components of blood. Now, blood also has many different types of components which all together make what blood is. So what are the different components? As I said, in any connective tissue, there will be an extracellular matrix. There will be some fiber, some ground substance. So even in case of blood, there is an extracellular matrix. And that extracellular matrix is known as plasma or blood plasma. So this is the fluid matrix on which blood cells are embedded. That is the normal characteristic of uh, connective tissue that there is a matrix and in that matrix the cells are of the connective tissue are embedded. So here in case of blood the matrix is fluid in nature and that is why blood is fluid. Now the cells which are embedded in the matrix what are they? They are the blood cells. So th that blood cells also are of different types. RBC that is red blood cells, these are the blood cells which are without nucleus. They carry oxygen from lungs to different parts of the body. The next one is WBC that is white blood cells. They are nucleated cells that is they have a nucleus and they help fight infect and builds the immune system. So basically, basically it fights against against any kind of infection. So whenever you fall ill, your immune system starts working. So that is when your white blood cells start working. So here in the picture, you can see some of the different types of white blood cells. They live for three to four days. The longevity of white blood cells is very less when compared to red blood cells. So they live only for a few days and then they get destroyed again, new WBCs are formed. So why do we have this WBC? Centrifugation of blood sample shows some white layer of nucleated cells between the RBCs 
and the plasma. So that is where your WBC lies because many people say that blood is so red in color. So from where do we get this white cells in blood? So that's when this comes into picture. The centrifugation of a sample of blood shows that there are nucleated cells which gives a white layer or which forms a white layer and they are nothing but WBC. So the, these WBCs are very very important, they play a very important role because once the immune system is not working, all the processes happening inside the body will go for a toss. Because even if you catch a little bit of cold, there is nothing to fight against it inside your body. So eventually that little bit of cold will start spoiling all the other systems of your body. And the third one is platelets. Platelets are very small in size as you can see in the picture. They help in blood clotting. You would have seen that when you get a cut in your say finger, what happens? It starts bleeding. But does, does it keep bleeding indefinitely? Forever it keeps on bleeding? No, right? It stops after some time. Why does it stop? Because the blood clots inside. And uh, if, if sometimes you get a major hurt, a big clot is also seen, some dark red or brown in color. And this clotting helps further flow of blood out of your body. Because if with a small cut, blood starts coming out of your body forever, what will happen? All the blood will come out and the person will not be alive. So platelets help in blood clotting. So these are the three types of blood cells which are present. So again, blood is a connective tissue. In a connective tissue, you have a matrix. What is the matrix in case of blood? It is blood plasma, which is a fluid. Okay, in that connected in that matrix, there are the blood cells embedded. And what are the blood cells which are present? RBCs, that is red blood cells, WBCs, white blood cells, and the platelets. And each of them uh, perform their own specific function right okay thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again